Good evening. A cold case crack. Decades after a woman was found murdered in Greenville County, we first brought you this as breaking news last night here on 7 News at 10. Jenny Zitricki was strangled and raped inside her own apartment. And for 28 years, her killer has never been named until today. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin was there as Greenville police broke down this bizarre case. This is a case that caught national attention. The investigation started in Greenville, but now we're learning the person believed to be responsible continued this brutal violence across state lines. It was April of 1990. Evidence of a gruesome murder unfolded at the Hidden Lake Apartments off Villa Road. She was a force of nature, a firecracker, a bundle of infectious energy. 28-year-old Jenny Zitricki found dead in a bathtub, the water still running. Her body showing signs of sexual assault and the case ruled a homicide. Days turned into weeks, weeks to months, months to years. And despite our best efforts, this case went cold. Time ticked and Zitricki's family left without answers. 28 years. 28 years. But nearly three decades later, a breakthrough police had hoped for. A form of DNA testing called genetic genealogy linked the suspected profile of Zitricki's murderer to another cold case, this time in Missouri. A mother raped and murdered, her 12-year-old daughter also killed. He shot them multiple times. Megan was also sexually assaulted. Later that same day, another sexual assault on a young mother and her child in Tennessee. Three cases and one suspect profile. Everybody kept trying and trying and trying to solve this. DNA testing proving to be the key in solving these violent crimes. On Friday, Greenville police announcing that Robert Eugene Brashers was a match. We now know that Robert Brashers was a violent serial rapist and murderer. Police say Brashers committed suicide nine years after Zitricki's murder and exhumed his body in Arkansas for tests. Investigators also discovered he lived a short distance from each crime scene. You have traveled the long road and reached the goal. And words alone cannot express our appreciation. The violence did not end there with Brashers. He was first arrested in 1985 in Florida for beating and shooting a woman. He was caught breaking into a woman's home one year before he died, armed with a gun and a camera and other tools. And just days before he committed suicide, was found hiding under a bed in a motel, holding people hostage. Reporting at 7 on Main, I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News.